in this video you are going to learn a simple step-by-step -step guide on how you can build a sock pit by yourself from start to finish as a civil engineer by profession this method of building a sock pit that i'm about to show you is better because your sock pit will never get clogged i'm going to show you a trick that you can apply so as you use your sock pit for even more than 50 years the technique is simple and easy to apply and by the end of this video you'll know how to do this by yourself simply and easily so be sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss this the only materials required when building a sock pit are one hardcore or stones two a pvc pipe and a polythene sheeting the first step is to do excavation and we excavate the pit depending on the number of users i'm going to leave you with a link in the description to our website to guide you on the dimensions for the sock pit depending on the number of users that you have the second step is to fill the pit with hardcore or stones when filling the hardcore in the pit you have to also position a pvc pipe at the center of the pit we normally use this 160 mm diameter heavy duty pvc pipe you can drill or cut holes around the bottom part of the pipe the primary function of this pipe is to help with proper distribution of liquid sewage to the surrounding ensuring that the sock pit does not overflow or get clogged in some cases this pipe at the center acts as an outlet for excess liquid sewage ensuring that the sock pit functions well even when it might be overloaded when laying this hardcore in the pit you have to organize it properly in a way that it doesn't hit the pipe just the same way as i'm doing and right now if you are getting any value from this video kindly hit that subscribe and like button i would really really appreciate After covering the pit to full capacity with hardcore or stones, the third step is to cover it with a polythene sheeting. This polythene sheeting on top prevents rainwater or storm water from entering the hardcore. Lastly, backfill with maram on top of the polythene sheeting. After backfilling, do landscaping in a way that running water doesn't come towards the soft pit. In case you have any questions about the soap pit, be sure to ask me in the comment section. I will answer all your questions immediately. Thank you so much for watching. Watch this playlist here on the right for all you need to know about septic tanks and soap pits.